Hello everyone. So if you want to understand the classification of vitiligo, which is very important in the recent times, questions are being asked. So check out this video till the end. Question and yes, the answer for this question, if you have marked it as option B, then it is awesome. Awesome. Okay. So let us read the question carefully and let us, you know, try to rule out the options. A question says 24 year old male presents with a small depigmented lesion. So small depigmented lesion is there which is shown in the image like this which has been there for over two years. So a duration is given it is it is there more than two years and general physical examination reveal an isolated mucosal lesion. So mucosal lesion uh, is not shown here but it is mentioned in the question on one specific site of oral cavity. So this is one more numerical which you have been given a clue in the question. So with these clues you should be in a position to at least rule out the options that is it is not nevus enemicus. Why is it not nevus enemicus? Because there is uh, you know, in the nevus enemicus, the lesions that is hyperpigmented lesions will not be mentioned in the mucosa. There will not be an association of the mucosal uh, hyperpigmented lesion. So, this can be ruled out. And also, option D can be ruled out. Why? Because in pebaldism, you should remember this is autosomal dominant condition where there will be a very, very important finding which should be at least given in the MCQ that is white forelock. And no mention has been made about this, so we can happily rule out pebaldism. And also, uh, nevus enemicus and nevus depigmentosus have been described, discussed in detail. You can check out the video link. I will put it in the above cards, so you can check that out. So, in the i cards above, the uh, link will be there. You can check out or even in the end, uh, uh, I will give the link for that. So, now let us see why in this question, undetermined vitiligo is the answer. Okay, and this was the older classification uh, which was followed uh, for vitiligo. So you can see non-segmental vitiligo, segmental vitiligo, and a mixed one where non-segmental and segmental were combined and unclassified. So this was the older one. So in the recent times, uh, I will give you the link for uh, this uh, you know study. It is the, I will keep it in the description below. So it is uh, basically to classify. We have recently used this border classification and you can see here vitiligo overall if it is mentioned uh, as vitiligo it means non-segmental vitiligo. NS means non-segmental and segmental vitiligo and there is another one which is undetermined which is given in this question or you can also be given an option as unclassified. So in non-segmental vitiligo just remember that acrofacial types mucosal variety where more than one mucosal site should be involved this is very important or generalized variety universal vitiligo or mixed vitiligo again which is associated with segmental or some rare variants which are not very important and segmental we have uni or bi or plurisegmental. So I will tell you about segmental vitiligo. And in the undetermined or unclassified version, we have what is called as a focal vitiligo and also mucosal where the mucosa only one site is going to be involved in the mucosa. So these two come under undetermined or unclassified that is uh, not sure about whether this is a segmental or uh, non-segmental sorry. So we will see how we can classify, how we can put it under unclassified or undetermined uh, type of vitiligo. So, as you can see here, the focal vitiligo and its uh, description is, it applies uh, a term that applies to localized macules which are hypo or depigmented characters by loss of melanocytes. Of course, you all know that vitiligo is an autoimmune disorder. So, melanocytes are damaged and destroyed. Assigned to the category unclassified vitiligo, UNV means unclassified vitiligo, until more definitive classification can be made on clinical grounds. So, if a patient comes with only one lesion present over the body, then we cannot classify it into segmental or non-segmental, but we will put it under focal vitiligo, which comes under this uh, unclassified uh, or undetermined type of vitiligo. And what is the duration for uh, this? So, the period should be at least two years. So, for at least two years, if the lesion is not increasing in size, it is not spreading onto the uh, surrounding skin, other areas of the body, then we can call it as focal vitiligo that is unclassified or undetermined vitiligo. And in this, you can also see, so you can also see in unclassified, we have mucosal one site in isolation. So, both of these are 
present in this question so why is it not segmental vitiligo so this is the criteria for us to classify patient as segmental vitiligo so now let us see what this classification says so acquired depigmented macules occurring unilaterally not crossing the midline or minimal spill on so it should not cross the midline so this is one criteria localized to a particular body site or area so it should be in a pattern distribution and what that pattern may be either in the blastoid pattern or dermatomal pattern or in a linear pattern so all of these are uh, essential criteria which are major criteria and also you can see in the additional criteria that is minor criteria the age is also mentioned which is less than 15 years less than 15 years whereas if you observe this question uh, carefully it is mentioned that the patient's age is 24 years and also you can notice that there is only one lesion there is only one lesion present over a uh, uh, year but there are no any other uh, areas which are having these depigmented lesions okay so uh, in this way you can rule out why is it not a segmental type of vitiligo and also in segmental just remember that mono segmental type of vitiligo is the most common form of uh, segmental vitiligo and uh, yes i will show you the picture so here you can see this is the segmental vitiligo where the lesion is not crossing the midline and you can see here these are the other pictures of the segmental vitiligo which can follow blastoid pattern which can follow a blastoid pattern or they may also follow a linear pattern they may also follow a linear pattern so this is how this was actually a question which was asked in the recent uh, i think inscet exam and this is how you can differentiate why is this not a segmental vitiligo uh, this question and why is it an undetermined vitiligo with the help of these two clues that is mucosal lesion is present on one side and also the duration it is present for more than two years so based upon these two clues yes we can diagnose this as an undetermined or unclassified vitiligo very very important for you to remember in the future this may be a question being asked